Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello My name is Anas Akasha and in this video I will present the group assignment that was assigned which is to send data to ThinkSpeak and also read data from ThinkSpeak So before I present our group assignment let me introduce to you our group members Our group members are Ifah Zulaika binti Saiful Bahri Ifan Darwish bin Muhammad Ibrahim and also myself Anas Akasha bin Abdul Patas For the introduction of this project we are required to develop an IoT application using ESP8266 or Node MCU and ThingSplit IoT platform which can display value from the ultrasonic sensor. This project requires us to send data to ThingSplit. Secondly, we are required to develop an IoT application too using the Node MCU ESP8266 and the ThingSplit IoT platform. But the data from the ultrasonic sensor must be sent to the Node MCU to be displayed by LEDs. In this part, we are required to read data from ThingSplit. The components that are required in this project are ESP8266 or Node MCU, ultrasonic sensor, breadboard, wires and also LED. Here is the circuit diagram for the first part which is to send data to ThingSplit. In this first circuit, we connect the ESP8266 with the ultrasonic sensor. In the second circuit diagram, uh, which is to read data from ThingSpeak, we added two LEDs which is green and LED lights as indicator for our project. After creating the circuit diagram for our project, then we have to write the codes to program our project. We write the codes in Arduino IDE. As you can see here, this is the, the source codes that we wrote to run our program to program the ESP8266 with the ThingSpeak IoT platform. For the first result, I will show you the results that we obtained from the serial monitor in Arduino IDE first. As you can see here in the left, it is the circuit that we built and in the right is the serial monitor. As you can see here, the serial monitor on the right shows the value from the ultrasonic sensor which shows the distance value. As a discussion for the first part, firstly, we connect ESP8266 with ultrasonic sensor as shown in figure 1. Secondly, we managed to write the code as in figure 3 in Arduino IDE. Next, we managed to connect the circuit to the laptop via micro USB for uploading and also supply power to the circuit. And lastly, after uploading the code, the distance value from the ultrasonic sensor is shown in the serial monitor. So here is the results that we obtained from the ThingSpeak IoT platform. So as you can see here in the ThingSpeak uh, platform, we can see from the upper part uh, is the value from the ultrasonic sensor, but the value is shown in graphs. That, that it was obtained from the ultrasonic sensor. The green LEDs and red LEDs are shown in the ThingSpeak IoT platform as green buttons and LED buttons. In this part, uh, two LEDs, red and green, is put in a circuit as light indicator for, uh, in the ThingSpeak IoT platform. The red LED will light up if the distance between the ultrasonic sensor and the object is less than 4 cm. If the distance is more than that, the green LED will light up. The data can be read in the ThingSpeak IoT platform where it can be visualized in graph or numeric value. The light indicator can be monitored by the IoT platform as shown in figure 7. But finally, after we manage to complete this project, the conclusion that we can make from this project is that firstly, the ultrasonic sensor can successfully send data to the ThingSpeak IoT platform. Next, the Node MCU can also treat the data from the IoT, ThingSpeak IoT platform. Besides that, the ultrasonic sensor also gives accurate reading of the distance between sensors and object. Besides that, ThingSpeak also visualize the light indicator for the distance, which is red or green accurately. Lastly, the system is successful and we are able to monitor anything that uses distance as a parameter. So this is all from us. Thank you for listening to the presentation of our project. Thank you very much.